Or I'm guessing that uh, somebody asked Rick Horn about the bad boys' um, thoughts or his thoughts on the last dance documentary about Michael Jordan. And basically, he went ham. And my whole thing was, I thought the Detroit Pistons 30 for 30 bad boys was better than the last dance doc. All right, The only thing that made the last dance doc stand apart was the music. And to some people, they probably was wild about what Jordan did, but I was aware and lived through most of what Jordan did. And he was a phenomenal player, but there was a lot of politics in there. Because really, when you're talking about the NBA, you know, not so much the NFL. The NFL, no, the Super Bowl is going to pop, you know, like grease in the pot, regardless of when the Super Bowl. It could be the Arizona Cardinals, you know, and the New York Jets, it's going to sell. But the NBA has, in my opinion allegedly kind of fixes it or pushes it so one person could be in the finals. So the NFL, Joe Blow can be in the finals versus Blow Joe. It's going to, people are going to watch it. But this is what he said. I do. Don't get me wrong. I didn't watch the the Jordan doc because I don't give a damn or hell about what Jordan did. We whooped that ass. That's all that matters. But it's respect. I finally watched the 30 for 30 probably this year for the bad boys because it was something that I said I already knew. No. About all that, but you learn about the players that are around you. It keeps us. It keeps us in contact. It's nice to get that we never acknowledge as one of the best teams in the league. And it was parts. It was always the Celtics, the Lakers, and then it was Chicago. You skip over two teams, two teams that went back to back with the Pistons and the Houston Rockets. You got to give uh, these teams uh, their due because they're were in NBA history. It it didn't skip from the Lakers to Chicago. It was all a blip and all that stuff. The thing is, I'm glad that we're finally getting the respect and the NBA is giving it to us. I don't know about you, but I love the 30 years have gone by and there's still a healthy level of hatred from a horn in regards to in the, in the regards, uh, his former uh, rival. It was from the Free Press, and I, I spread it on uh, Detroit Pistons Nation. The Free Press wanted you to subscribe to read it, but um, he right, you know. And I'm going to shoot this uh, idea to a few people, man. He's 100% right. They skip over the Pistons and the Rockets, you know, like they didn't exist, you know. And NBA TV did do the uh, Clutch City little thing for Houston Rockets, but they existed. And to be honest, man, if you want to be a honey, the Hakeem Olajuwon Rockets probably would have put an L at least one time on Michael Jordan's resume because they had no answer for Hakeem Olajuwon. Who was on that team? Uh, Horace Grant? He couldn't fuck with him. Shit. Shaquille O'Neal at the time, he was young, got schooled by Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem Olajuwon was a fucking monster. All right, and he wouldn't kill you with brute strength. His footwork was of the greatest elk of, of the guards of today, yesterday, and the future. He was phenomenal. They had no answer for Hakeem Olajuwon. It wasn't that Jordan, and, that's the one person that Jordan and, and Pippen couldn't lock down. Couldn't lock down Hakeem Olajuwon. Too much, too much athleticism, too much strength, too much height. Hakeem would have had his way. <laughs> Fries, burgers, all, all he would have had his way. But they skip over Detroit because that just lets you know that they do not want no other mar- small market teams in the NBA to win. It's truthful. They don't. And that's why the NBA will never garnish is 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 the 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 height of viewership and popularity they had in the 90s. They will never get that again. Because it's not an organic process for teams to have an equal chance. You know, yeah, might as well just say fuck the NBA and just put the four teams that want to win the championship. And Rick Mahorn is right. He ain't going to say it, but it's, it's a scam. They never want Indiana to win. They never want Milwaukee to win it. They never want Philly to win it. They want it to be Boston, LA, wherever the biggest name like LeBron is at, they want it to be. But at the end of the day, they give everybody a fair shake. Everybody know the, the lottery is rigged. Remember Shaquille O'Neal asked, David Stern asked him where he wanted to go. Somewhere hot. He wanted to go somewhere hot. And he ended up in Orlando. Everybody know the NBA is a scam. You know, if they knew Giannis was going to be that good, they would have got Giannis somewhere he wanted to be. They wanted him to be. But shout out to Rick Mahorn for telling the truth. And they try to skip over us in Houston, you know. But, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk Play. Let me know what you think when Rick Mahorn said. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, reader request. All our social media links in the description. Fast forward reach us is Twitter, then Facebook, then Instagram. Uh, Facebook group, I mean, no, it's Facebook group, not the channel. Check out the channel, all good fellow sports TV on YouTube for more sports news, news, and entertainment. Want to make a donation? Cash app, CJ Good313 in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.